Carol, is both newspapers here, right? Both newspapers here. All right. This is Daniel Greer. We, uh, as part of the Canadian Union of Postal Workers, has been uh, in a strike, legal strike position for quite a while. We've been staging, uh, we've been staging rotating strikes for the past week and a bit. And um, the corporation has recently struck back, and they have cut down mail delivery to uh, three days a week in response uh, to our rotating strikes. I am here today in Lindsay. Oh, mouthful of <laughs> we have uh, we have the vice president of the Lindsay local here, Wayne Greer. Nice to meet you all. And we have our president, Cheryl McMillan. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you guys a little bit about what the current struggle is here and about the history of the union, what we've accomplished over the years. So we'll let Cheryl tell you the current struggle. The current struggle is our our um, sick time. Right now we have um, a sick benefit that we've put into for years and years. And what they want to do now is send it to a third party. And right at the moment it is Manulife. So it will be Manulife will decide if you're sick or if you're injured, not your doctor. And uh, they can deny you at any time and they're taking away our grievance procedure. Another thing is the um, delivery mode for letter carriers. And what they want to do is have a two bundle system meaning your letters are in your hand, your flats are in your, your forearm, and your other mail, parcels, and householders would be in your bag. It's a repetitive strain injury, not to mention uh, you can't see where you're, where you're walking properly, and if there's a lot of, if there's snow, rain, wind, whatever, if it ever goes missing, if it ever falls out of your hand, it's going to be a struggle trying to get back in, into the proper way it's supposed to be delivered. Mm -hmm. My turn. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so this is the, this is the first strike in quite a long time. Yeah. But I know uh, the struggle to get to the point. I think uh, one of the big things that people don't understand is how hard that postal workers had to fight to get where they are today, and that now that the corporation is trying to take so much away so quickly after we after the union has spent so many years fighting uh, to get what we have, right? Uh, that's correct. Uh, the sick leave issue that Cheryl was referring to, we've had for 40 years. Um, achieved that. Uh, back in the early 60s, letter carriers used to go out, do one route, and have to come back and go out on another route. Uh, the routes were extremely long. Um, they didn't pay attention to injured people. It was run more like uh, an army base. Um, over the years, we've achieved. Uh, Paid maternity leave for for women that uh, are having babies. We have uh, paternity leave, adoption leaves. So people with families and having children now have rights to take time off work when they first have their family and get things organized. Um, we lobby uh, the unions lobby against uh, labor groups and governments. Uh, that's why your minimum wage is higher today because through the Labor Councils and Canadian Labor Congress, the unions rally against the government and we've got the minimum wage raised, there's uh, better UIC benefits and WSIB is another thing, workers' compensation. It's another benefit that's achieved through the union negotiations and, and lobbying the government. And this is a lot of stuff that people wouldn't know about. A lot of people don't understand um, that our fight is uh, for our own rights, but that we're also, that you can, uh, unions have fought a lot over the years, and, uh, and specifically the Canadian Union of Postal Workers, for, uh, for the rights of everybody. Well, that's correct. Uh, we, we go out on strike right now, we're out on strike Partially because Canada Post is has a major attack on any new employees coming into Canada Post. A lot of the employees that have been here for years and years aren't going to be severely affected by lower wages and that. 
that Canada Post is proposing, <laughs> but any new employees, <laughs> any new employees would be affected. Uh, if they accomplish their goal and lower our wages, you can count on it that the general public wages will be lowered as well. We're seeing that all over the place. Uh, companies like Canadian Tire, etc., <laughs> not giving raises. Not to mention uh, working conditions. In fact, the mm -hmm. sweat factories, once again, the union makes sure that uh, human rights are in installed, that um, rights for grievances, uh, health and safety issues. There's a whole slew of things mm -hmm. that unions are. are instrumental in getting in and helping for our workers and i think now more than ever there seems to be a real attack on unions and uh, i think that there's a lot of people that don't understand this fight and a lot of workplaces are going backwards right now people are losing things everywhere you look exactly. and uh, i think that's why this strike is uh more important than ever because so many people in every job are losing so many rights it's all about corporate greed. In, 19, in 2002, Canada Post made a profit. That was a profit of $281 million. How much does the CEO make compared to what a letter carrier makes or, or, a, or a clerk? And they want to cut jobs. With this new modernized post, what they're going to do is cut about 7,000 jobs across the country. Not to mention, too, on the sick leave issue. If you are sick, what's going to happen now is right now we have Canada Post. We use their system that we've put into. If we are sick, we have to go on EI. That means we're back onto the, the government system now and where we're imposing that on the country instead of our employer. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that pretty well takes up our time for today. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. This is Daniel Greer. Locked out. 2011. <laughs> <laughs> so where's that going to be?